Hi, welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapies. Just a quick reminder, you can find my books on Amazon, you can find me on Telegram, you can find me on GillianEngland.com. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Valentine's Day. Let's have a little look. What does that mean to us? So it's a time of year where there's a lot of expectation. The media, the propaganda, you know, it's got it projects this image that everyone's happily coupled up and we celebrate love. Well, let's just have a little deep dive into it. Is there another way of looking at it? Okay, so we know then commercially it's a bit of a dead time for commercial activity between Christmas and Easter. So putting a Valentine's Day there where everybody rushes out and buys chocolates and flowers adds to the economic, uh, yeah, the buoyancy of the economic market, I guess. And let's just have another look at these things that we are, that are, we celebrate, be it Christmas, Easter, um, Valentine's Day, Halloween. So we've come to realise recently then that a lot of these special days or times are actually based on satanic rituals. I won't say that word again, but it's based on that um, unconscious idea that we're actually adding our energy to a negative force. So we've come to realise that in a lot of things and I'm very keen for everybody to claim these events back. So instead of going along with adding our energy to a unhealthy frequency, we mindfully change our intention of all these, whether it's Christmas, Easter, Halloween, we mindfully change that to set it to a frequency of 5D or higher and be on the highest timeline. So we can do this with Valentine's Day. So another thing then about Valentine's Day, you know, we know that one of their, their ways of controlling us is to create a divide and separate feeling. Well, there's nothing more heartfelt than if you're alone or you perceive yourself to be alone on Valentine's Day. You know, you can really feel like you're on the outside of something. Well, that's designed by them to create louche, create sadness, create lack. I want to say to everybody that whether you've got a partner or not, whether you are happy in your partnership, whether you've not got a partner, you are never alone. So on Valentine's Day, I'm sending from my radiant golden heart to yours, beautiful frequency of universal divine energy. You are never alone. This is just a bit of a con to get everybody feeling sad and lonesome. So let's not let's not bow to that. Even if you haven't, you're not happy in a partnership or you've not got a partnership, don't fall for it. You're never alone. You are you have your frequency family there ready, waiting. We are all around you. And talking of frequency family, I'm really excited to in a month or so I'm going to be announcing a new project where you can all join in and we can really firm up this connection to our community, our connection to our divine power, our connection to our spiritual development. It's really exciting. I can't wait to share it with you. So keep your eye out on my social medias, keep your eye out on here. But you're getting back to Valentine's Day then, you know, let's, one, let's claim it back. Let's set it to a frequency of 5D or higher. Two, remember, you're never, ever, ever alone. You are held in the divine bosom of the Christ light, of creator, of the great spirit, however you want to say it. And three, you know, we know it's a commercial activity. And I'll just say another thing, if you do want to celebrate Valentine's Day, great, good. Let's set the intention to celebrate being on that highest frequency. Let's celebrate the love from the divine. So, you know, set our intention to celebrate Valentine's Day from the highest frequency of divine love. And that's where I'm going to leave you today. Have a great day, my dear ones. And I love you lots. And... See you soon.